They're bizarre. The marsupial lion, for example, Tholoclea carnifex. This was a lioness size. Change. Bushfires, drought, and predation. Any one of these could have triggered their demise. Thylacoleo means pouched lion. Like many Australian creatures today, it's a marsupial, a mammal that carries its young in a pouch. The target for a potential predator. They make up for in size. Intimidate a potential predator. So one of the ways that you can actually... ...from which we can work out when those sediments came into the cave and buried the remains of the megafauna that died in those sands. Time. In solving the mystery behind why the Australian megafauna became extinct... Throughout the continent, temperatures plunge 9 to 18 degrees Fahrenheit. Not all scientists believe they were easy targets. That they were unused to predation, and because of that, they were easily killed. Some mega beasts are ferocious, well armed to attack or defend. The marsupial lion, Thylacoleo, was right at the top of the food chain in Ice Age Australia. It was well armed with retractable claws on both its hands and its feet. They opened it up with the claws and that they might then have bled to death. I think that's pretty unlikely. There is no doubt in my mind that a large marsupial The marsupial lion is indeed one of the animal kingdom's most ferocious creatures. When it comes face to face with prehistoric human chain, as the herbivores die off, the animals that depend on them for the little food that is left. and threatening creatures. Early humans think of an in and wiped the mega beasts off the face of the earth. They've reminded us that all things are connected. The Earth does not belong to us.